I'm Srinivas from Rangapathali Puppet Years. Before I start my talk on the uh, I would like to add some uh, few words about the puppetry culture in India. In India, we are going to find four forms of puppetry. Rod puppetry, string puppetry, leather puppetry and global puppetry. If you look into the history of uh, Indian history for about 4000 years, puppetry has a uh, continuous art form contribution to the society. If you look into some of the remotest place in India also, we can find one other of the puppetry form. Puppet art is not only an entertainment, also it works as an edutainment and also infotainment. In this context, Rangaputali Puppeteers is the team which was formed by my father Sri Yamma Ranganath Rao, who is known as a master puppeteer of India. Basically, he was a teacher in his early profession and we took this art and I learned this art from him only. Uh, he was a national awardee as well from Central Sangeet, Central Sangeet Nataka Academy as well. Till here, we have given more than 7,000 puppet show performances across the globe. The speciality of these puppets are, these puppets are made up of wood, are in a height of a two and a half to three feet height. Each puppet weighs about 10 to 12 kg approximately. It's known as a one of the most complex one and also very difficult one to manipulate. Two iron rods are being connected to the limbs of the puppets and it's being folded by the puppeteer and three strings are being connected to the ring. A puppeteer weighs it on the head while manipulating it. So the total weight of a four, 12 to 14 kgs it based on the neck of the puppeteer. When I took this uh, art form in 1997, when I learned it from my father, this was a major challenge to me. Person like uh, with a lean personality and everything, it's difficult to manipulate this kind of a uh, heavyweight puppets. So what we did is we have uh, introduced the newer version, newer methodologies by bringing out the puppets to weight up to half of it, about five to six kgs. Here, we have not left out any traditional blend, traditional lessons, but we have innovated, we have used the technology method here. The same hand form and everything, this hand is known as a chin mudra, which is in most of the dance forms, what we see it in uh, Kuchpadi or even Bharatanatyam and everything, which is known as chin mudra. And most of the yogasana format also, this uh, chin mudra is being used. To make it very considerable and all, the ornaments and also the dress and everything, the puppets looks very much richer and also very natural as well. This was the main challenge, to bring it back the total weight of the 12 kg puppet, to bring it down to 5 to 6 kgs by making use of a paper mesh and also sawdust and everything. We are succeeded in it. The second challenge what we've gone through is selection of the story. Uh, traditional artists like uh, us actually, when we, are, uh, when we have not uh, selected the proper story which is in line with the society, definitely the audience may not show, show their interest to us. So what we did is we ta to tackle this issue, we have started introducing some newer version of a story other than the mythological or the legendary characters like uh, Swami Vivekananda and Tanali Raman to reach out to the maximum audience and also to the maximum younger audience. So even we have succeeded in it also. As I have told earlier, till now we have given more than 7,000 puppet show performances across the globe. So after this one, we are going to showcase a part of Swami Vivekananda, which we have recently adopted to this art form. Uh, and Probably I would like to say that one actually we are the first to introduce Swami Vivekananda puppet show in rod constraint puppetry in India. <laughs> Here the journey continues like that and also I strongly believe that if any kind of a traditional art form can able to adopt that technological innovation, then only this kind of art form can survive. If any artist is uh, denying or refuses to use it, uh, the technical technological adaptation, definitely he can't go ahead further. Our team is going to perform the same Swami Vivekananda puppet show behind the screen.
even though we started using the contemporary style puppets or even for the legendary character and everything, we have used the same chin mudra style. And one more thing I wanted to add it here, you would be curious to know that one, these puppets do not have legs. A puppet here creates an illusion by moving the puppet's long skirt or the sari towards the, like a forward or a backward or even from right to left, something like that, so that the audience get an illusion that the puppet's itself moving, not the puppet here. That's, that was the trick here. So at the end of the note, actually, I would like to add on one more here. If any kind of an artist is uh, coming up with a new technology and everything, it is the same responsibility for the audience to support and uh, extend your patronage to revive this art form. Through these puppets, what I request is actually, we can just give it as a, a bunch of gift to the next generation to revive this art and also to retain this and to extend it to further next generation. Thank you so much. We now introduce you to Swami Vivekananda from India and request him to address us. Swami Vivekananda. Sisters and brothers of America. It fills my heart with joy unspeakable to rise in response to the warm and cordial welcome which you have given us. My thanks also to some of the speakers on this platform who, referring to the delegates from the Orient, have told you that these men from far off nations may well claim the honor of bearing to different lands the idea of toleration. I am proud to belong to a religion which has taught the world both tolerance and universal acceptance. The present convention, which is one of the most august assemblies ever held, is in itself a vindication, a declaration to the world of the wonderful doctrine preached in the Gita. Whosoever comes to me, through whatsoever form, I reach him. All men are struggling through paths which in the end lead to me. Sectarianism, bigotry and its horrible descendant, fanaticism, have long possessed this beautiful earth. They have filled the earth with violence, drenched it often and often with human blood, destroyed civilization and sent whole nations to despair. Had it not been for these horrible demons, human society would be far more advanced than it is now. But their time is come, and I fervently hope that the bell that tolled this morning in honor of this convention may be the death knell of all fanaticism, of all persecutions with the sword or with the pen, and of all uncharitable feelings between persons wending their way to the same goal. This was our presentation of Swami Vivekananda. I hope you have liked it. And in future, if you find any kind of a rod string puppetry, we will definitely share it to the others who does not know this. Thank you so much.